name is Mariam Jam and I'm an African blogger and the CEO of Spot One Global Solutions and uh, I've got a platform uh, called Africa Gathering which uh, brings people together and share ideas about Africa. So I was here to just come and share ideas with, with people on, on African issues. And what did you hope to gain from the day? I mean, what I hope to gain is really people to learn um, and start talking positively about Africa. Uh, you know, I'm very tired to hear uh, the negativity about what's happening in my continent because I see a different side of what's happening in Africa. We've, I know that there are some problems in Africa, but uh, you know, I think we need to start bringing the good story. I'm very depressed in hearing the, the negativity about what's happening in the continent. So let's start a new debate, a new phase in, in just bringing good stories uh, that will help the British public, I think. So what exactly about that nauseating and melodramatic narrative of Africa that gets to you? And, and I mean, how how do you think this this can change and influence progress? I mean, I, I see a typical thing about corruption in Africa, for example. Uh, you know, when people talk about corruption, poverty in Africa, and, and war in Africa, those subjects are there already. We know that we have not created those stories. But I think, how about if we start turning our narratives into, you know, the the, the, the entrepreneurs in Africa, the young Africans who are hungry to, to make a difference in their lives? How about if we talk about the you know the the new software where developers coming from Africa, for example, who are developing solutions like the Ushahidi software is being used globally by people. How about if we talk about the iHub in Nairobi, the, the amount of hubs we have in Africa right now, bringing people together. How about if we talk about you know, the, the, the philanthropists we have in Africa, the investors in Africa, venture capitalists in Africa. How about if we talk about businesses that are changing, people live in Senegal, in Nairobi, in Tanzania. What are those stories? Um, you know, nobody's talking about them. The, the solution developed by African people for Africans. You know, how about we talk about those issues? Nobody talk about those issues. Yeah. So I think you know it's time for for us to change. As a you know, as we are you know, we we, we create content. You know, we, the human being create content. Every day is a content. This event is a content. I'm gonna go back home and 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 blog about it. But it depends what I blog about this event. You see, and what you read, and how the information is, is being accessed globally. So that's why you know if we need to be very careful now, as you know, people who own the, the the data and who can write about it, to you know start narrating positivity, you know, positively about the continent. I think that's what I'm trying. That's what I'm seeking. Finally. How do you think the online billion online can save the hungry billion? I think the more information, the more you know, the billion Africans today get access to information, access to food. You know, you, you can't argue. You, know, you need to have. We, we can't go economic. Um, we can't just do big economics and big statistics in Africa. You, know, you need to. You need to sort out the poverty in Africa. People who, you know, who can't, who don't have anything to eat first before you talk about democracy and information. Okay, that's what we need to do. So we need to. We need. We can't impose information to people in, in Africa. We need to let the African people decide what they want. Because now we're a major nation, a nation, we know what we want. So I think now we need to start just, you know, engaging more with Africa and letting us decide for ourselves rather than just, you know, deciding for ourselves.